Another quarterback you're looking at in the MVP market is the Miami Dolphins quarterback, Tua Tungavailoa. Why is the second-year player going to be in the MVP race this year? It's because situation matters a lot for quarterbacks and surrounding context, surrounding talent. And Tua's situation this year is a whole heck of a lot different than it was last year. Because last year, down the stretch, he was throwing to guys like Lynn Bowden, uh, go, throwing to Adam Shaheen, all these you know random names. But now he gets Devontae Parker back healthy, Will Fuller, and Jalen Watt. And that's a massive deviation from what Tua Tunga Vailoa had this year or last year. Mike Kosicki is back healthy too. There's a lot more speed on this field. And that's a good thing for Tua Tunga Vailoa. We saw him take advantage of that when he was at Alabama via guys like Henry Ruggs and Jalen Waddell there as well. So I expect the Dolphins to be a good team this year. My win projections have them at 9.6 wins. If they were to exceed that, it would mean they'd be a contending team with a good win total, which is good for MVP, and it'd likely mean that Tua Tungavailoa had a major hand to play in their exceeding expectations. So 60-1 to 1 for me is a long number for a guy who was as good in college as Tua Tungavailoa was. I think the situation here is really good. I think this team is good, and that blends up well to make Tua a good bet at 60-1. to 1. The newest wide receiver of that team in Miami is the former Alabama wide receiver Jalen Waddell, reunited with his former quarterback from Alabama, Tua Tungavailoa.